Hello and welcome to another edition of Watch Me Suck at Minecraft. In last episode, we were in dire search of iron. We let, we looked through our strip slash branch mine and starved to find any, even though we found some pieces. But I knew of some caves we haven't explored, and so far we found quite a bit. And once again, it's one of those rare moments I. Because of life and what have not, I can actually do this. It's also a nice summer day, although summer's almost over. So the windows open, you get to hear the city sounds, and it's also a nice breezy day, so you get to hear that as well. And I'm sure somebody will be blaring their stereo, and I'm going to have to yell over it. So I'm always hitting multiplayer for no reason. Anyway, here we are. This is what we want. Watch me suck Minecraft birthday. See, when we last off... Less left off, should I say, we were in the system that we were looking through, the cave system. And now we're going to see if we can find more or just get out. We have the timer set just in case I lose concentration and go. All right, I'm just going to look down, hoping that will peak the frame rate. No, it won't. Okay, we were here. I double torch that so we know where the exit is. And we have some uh, stone pickaxes. See, that's just showing us which way to go. And we are down to a wonderful 15 frames a second here. Okay, we need to move a lot faster than this. We are naked. We are completely unprotected almost. Just little booties. That's it. So we can't go into any serious combat. And ends with that. Well, we know where there's plenty of coal. And we only managed 20 pieces of iron thus far. And no way out. Alright, so... This was not the way out. I thought it was. So I had a better mark than this. Yeah, it's right up here. I don't know why that's not that well marked, but problem fixed. Hello. And we found iron. I'll do is I'll do a double torch there. I'm going to swap these out. Hopefully no one's coming up from behind. More iron over here. Over there. Okay. There's a zombie that can't get to us. That's terrific. Before we even move any further along, let's get the iron we can. This 20 isn't enough. I would like to get out when it's safe to do so. It's a ledge there. We'll use that to get to this stash. Alright, I'll just do this so we expose that area to more light. So now we're at, let's put that where we can see it, 31. Even more down here. Yep. 
I have a feeling that goes down there. So that being said, I think we can safely block that part off. Oh, there's a skeleton. Double torch there so we know the exit. End them in there. Looks like we found our way to the bottom of a ravine. Put a torch there, and one up here, because we can. Need more of these. Looks like we got to a ravine, as I mentioned before. Probably save that for another day because what we need right now is what we're going for is that the iron. Let's put a torch there again to be safe. And we can go this way. Question is, what does this go to, if anything? Well, it was a lava pool. Can we get down here? Yeah, we can. Alright. Let's get ourselves some more iron. just break this down a little bit so all right we're safe enough if this breaks we can take care of it just like that oh, look more I'm glad I'm finding it so I guess the rest starts to become complicated. I'll just throw a torch here. This computer, plenty capable of over 100 frames per second. Can't seem to go past 60 all of a sudden, or even 30. We almost looked right at an Enderman. That would have been pretty bad. There he is. There's the cave system. Hoping we can save ourselves by doing that. bad for us. Jeez, get stuck. Uh, 
There we go. You know what? Let's get out of here while we have all this stuff on us. Oh, but before we do... Oh, that doesn't look healthy. There. Try not to look down. Oh, there's iron there too. pieces. Let's get out of here before before we lose what we got. There's our exit. Let's see how much of this we can reach. That's it. Guess I have more here. found this. Oh, hi, creeper. Oh, bad. Oh, and there's iron there. He's where he can't get us. Surprised it didn't cause a chain reaction. Okay, was this the way out? Just traveling blind now, which might not be a good thing. Oh, great. I may not have left the clearest of trails. Oh, here we go. In fact, that's actually even pointing the way I was supposed to go. now. We can run now. Oh, let's actually hit the run button instead. I don't know what I was hitting there, but it was not the run button. Let's get home. We are almost there. Of course, a creeper has to be right there. And we can run. That's better. We are safe. Now we can cook the iron. 
think we've got a full stack. I know we have at least that. And not enough to care to do the other one. So we'll borrow that. So we can get ourselves some full armor. Because we're going to have a lot more where that came from. If that. If that. If that. And I know we already have leggings, but actually I'm take that, put it there. Put that there. So we have something when we if we die. Much better off now. We'll waste away the uh, rotten flesh. How many arrows do we have? We only have five. We've never really gone and made more arrowheads, have we? Oh well. We are in better condition now than when we started. Yeah, we can't set these guys up. We're going to have to take them out the old-fashioned way. Can't set you guys up to do a job. But now that Skelly is gone, we can get this guy to do something for us. one and the other guy must have despawned getting very close to actually wrapping this little project up zombies. You know what we could also do when the, when the sun comes up again? Not set up to do the job. Okay, we got that. Yeah, this definitely needs to be worked on. 
We're almost there. That's what hurts. That was nice. Made life easier. Something went wrong when that happened. All right, back in the house quickly. I'm just going to grab some of that now. Yep, we can move. We'll spend a little time in the end, if I remember how to get there. I know where it is. Still cooking that stuff up. So let's just put away construction stuff. Oh, we got plenty of this kaboomy stuff. We need more sand, though. There's some sand there. Just move that like so. So, a random mushroom. All right. We're off. Try to get some more XP. I do have a Enderman shelter down there, so should be able to do what we need. That's one of the things I want to do in the end is I want to go and find some end cities and see what we can do there. So I rarely ever ask for stuff for comments or what have not because I figure it sounds like you know that I'm that I'm trying to be needy and I you know I'm try sounding desperate for attention although like most people it's more for actual participation so here's my question and put your answer in the comments would you like one of these episodes, one or more, should I say, to be searching for end cities and their loot? Feel free to leave something in the comments as we head towards Fort Duff, which has the end portal. Actually, I know where that is. I don't know why I'm thinking that. I mean, it literally... I have the stairway dump you right there. Like I said, we used to have a road system at one point and then decided just burn down trees and clear away, make some pillars, and that's how we could find our way around. And that's a spot that needs some clearing but never got to it. This is when deserts and winter wonderland could easily spawn right next to each other. And I'm not going to be doing anything super daring. So, if you want to see me attempt to find some end cities, let me know. Now, contrary to popular belief, and I'm saying this because I see a lot of people that think it's true, but you do not need to re-engage a fight with the Ender Dragon, which I've beat in this particular world a long time ago. You do not need to summon him back, or her back, found out that the dragon's a girl. And for the same male stereotypical reasons why, I won't get into that. But you don't have to bring it back. Just bring enough blocks to pillar your way away from the main island and you'll find one. And here's the portal. And jump in. Yay, more toasters.
Yeah, we did that already. Uh, time to do some very loud and annoying stuff. That's getting the Enderman's attention. I know it's not going to really help us a whole ton here. is to get them all angry. I could spend a whole ton of time doing this, like I said. At least it's taking taking a notch or two off the side ones. Definitely not the fastest way to go about it, but it certainly is a way that works. One more time, why not? Trying to get a little bit of a burst of XP here. Uh oh, that's not good. And I don't have a. So we should head right back to bed. No problem. Speaking of bed, I think I got some lapis here. 
Now I know worst case scenario if I change the bed color and this is not where I keep that. And I die, it's going to wind up taking me, and of course it was right here all along. It's going to wind up take, taking me to spawn in, instead of here. So I'm going to do is lapis bed. Oh, that worked in Minecraft. It worked in Pocket Edition. I was able to re dye the bed. I. That's interesting. Well, now I kind of hurt myself there. It's not terribly important. Like I said, in, po in Pocket Edition, that's how I did it, and it worked. Guess it's a little bit different here. All right, I am going out without any, without a sword, which is not really the smartest thing ever. But actually, while I'm thinking of it, let's go back up here, back up to construction land. And no, why am I thinking there? I know I won't definitely need all of that, but three's better than nothing. With four left over. There we go. I can always use a lever to trigger it. I so need XP points right now. I really need to find more lapis. Maybe an area of that cave I've already explored, I'll dig down that way. I can do it with minimal risk. This time, I'll actually... Now that should help. See if that helps. Really? Well, better than nothing. And that's all we're getting. Uh, yeah. I guess because I'm using the old method of surrounding the bookcases, you used to need 30. One for each XP level that you can possibly get on an item. To get full enchantment power. Then they halved it to 15. <laughs> So many things we could work on.
I'm glad I'm running. Yeah, I don't have enough dirt to finish that part off. Oh shoot, oh shoot. That creeper I did not see. The one that I was trying to get attention, I did. Talk about near death. Wow. That was pretty bad. Now we're going to sit here and wait for things to get better. Yeah, one of the things I also wanted to do was change how the cow farm worked because, I mean the cow cooker, because it doesn't really work. can't go anywhere. What can I do? Let's try this way. I guess we're going to head for the mine. See if we can find... Go down low enough and see if we can find some lapis. You can find some lapis at least. I'm not putting a lot of money on it, but we might. I'm even going to go a little lower than I really need to. A little past the diamond level. Oh, we're finding redstone, which, well, we're going to lose. This world, it's not terribly important. Looking for lapis, which I know you can't. You lose these uh, with the stone pickaxe, but not really needing it. Come on, break. Actually, this is wrong. It's one, two, three, four. not a quote-unquote structural thing. Two, three, two, three, four, five. Like I said in the previous video, I missed the clang that the tools used to make when they wore out. That way you knew they wore out. seems that this area is barren. I haven't found much of anything here. Well, daylight's about to come. So, we'll just do one more section.
apparently there's a cave system nearby. Now this is a rarity that you see in Minecraft. This particular system is both a strip and branch mine. See, those are the branches, but I stripped an entire large area like this so that I could have this whole system. It's a combination of both. One thing I don't like about this system is when I get to the top, if there's any skeletons there or creepers, there's absolutely no notice. There's bolts and hope you don't fall off the edge. And fail to make it. Let's look at another failed project. We haven't been here in a while. And hit the wrong button. That's not what we want. We can come in this way. And this is a, supposed to be an item collector. What's supposed to happen here is that monsters spawn, form up there, they walk around, they go into the ditch. This is obviously a broken system. It doesn't really work. It's not even planned properly. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, it might be okay. It's another thing we need to fix, because it doesn't work. Anyway, they go into the center channel than they... Well, I cared more about items that they drop, and they would come here and drop their stuff. I have two holes so that we can get them on either side. One thing I want to fix right now, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the whole day towards it. It's this. This thing here. It don't work. They were supposed to just go into the fire and then burn. And then we had the one block of lava that they would just fall in and hopefully just run around in here, but that didn't work either. Stutter. So none of that worked. So now what we need to do is figure out a way to make them drop. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and then we hit gravel. Just what we don't need. then we have to lower this as well. 
So again, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nowhere near enough. I'm going to clear all this crap out. And I believe that's it for pickaxes. Yes, it is. So I have a switch here. Hit. Dumps water. The cows will go down there. They used to hit that f fire floor and they were supposed to run amok. Then burn to a crisp there. It didn't work. In a test world, it did, for some reason. So, once again, reworking it. Oh yeah, this was the only manual entrance and exit. Need to fatten them up anyway. Way just in case. Outside, you die. What do you have with a fascination of the border there? stand here and just whip them. Didn't have to worry about them rebounding. Anyway, three more of those, some more of these. Another creeper hole to fill in. That's going to be part of it or not. Okay, so it ends here. So I'm just going to put some stone there right now.
Oh, let's get this done now. Last one either. Yep. Oh, that was bad. How do I get out? I'm just going to have to remove that again anyway. Alright, we have a hole we definitely need to take care of before the bad guys come back out again. It's like it almost never happened. Wink, nudge. What should be doing is making the grounds a lot safer. Not terribly safe here. I think it's because I was going to be knocking this whole hill down and I stopped. Well, some of it's safer. Now I know what I was going to do. I'm going to look for some lumber. Always get more of that stuff. Yeah. There's plenty where that came from. This time we'll completely ignore making the pickaxe. But we got a workbench down here now. Well, we've had it, but I mean. Act like I don't. Alright. Let's see what we can do. This time we'll do it the good luck way, which is item to be enchanted first, the lapis second. Yeah, better than nothing. I'll take it. Yeah, you know, we definitely need to start doing work on the, uh, getting the cow thingy working. Unbreaking too definitely helps.
And that didn't work. They look cool. And I hear my least favorite sound outside, and that's the Code 3 fire alarm. Which is famous for going off in this place. Now you're alone. I can take you on. Why are we not running when I run? Doesn't sound like it makes sense, right? Well, yes, I hit run and nothing happens. Yes. Do, 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 do. Double tap. Do, 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 do. Hit the actual run button. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I wanted to level that off. But we gotta make things safe. safe to go that way. Oh, one of them. This could be something for the... Yeah, we can actually grab that piece of dirt. Here we go. One of the things we definitely need to do up here is get rid of up here. This isn't supposed to be here anymore. And I don't have a shovel. It looks like the day is pretty much over. So what we're going to have to do is grab one piece. Just let that happen. There you go. Go in here. No, I want to do this. We got ourselves a shovel. And to fix the whole bed issue that we've just made for ourselves, We'll sleep it off. And stop. Well, yeah, this is an ever so slightly, and I mean ever so slightly shorter version of the show, like a little over a minute shorter because I needed to reset the bed. And the only way to do that is obviously to sleep in it again. So now that I've slept in the bed, we should be fine. And, okay, time to reset and everything. So that'll be it for this edition of Watch Me Suck at Minecraft. This is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.